are going to discuss important topic that is kinetic energy kinetic energy let me introduce few illustrations few examples related to kinetic energy if boy is running i am walking anyone is running i am running stone is rolling all possess kinetic energy so from all these examples these examples are related to the motion all things are moving human being is moving stone is rolling animal is running all this possesses energy due to its motion due to its moving or motion you can say from all these examples how we will describe the definition it is the energy possessed due to its motion it is the energy possessed due to its motion example rolling stone rolling stone these are the motion related energy so kinetic energy is a scalar quantity is a scalar quantity energy is a scalar quantity so kinetic energy is equal to k equal to half m v square kinetic energy is directly proportional to scale of the speed if the body is running fast then it possess more kinetic energy faster the body faster the body more will be its kinetic energy more its more will be its kinetic energy so now we are going to derive a relation for kinetic energy so first of all we we are having a horizontal table we are having horizontal table we will place a block we will place a block on the horizontal table so now we will apply a force we will apply a force on this block and this block shows some displacement block shows some displacement that means from here block starts and it will move up to here this is the displacement shown by the block so this force applied on this block for t time for t time so before applying force block is at rest block is at rest so its initial speed is zero when block is at rest initial velocity is zero now if we applied a force on the block it produces displacement and it accelerate to this position this position block so that means it produces some of the displacement now here it is the final position it is a final position that means final velocity will be v 
final velocity final velocity is v so now when we apply a force it accelerates to this position that is it will gain a displacement it produce displacement now when the block accelerate with the force we know f equal to ma we know force is equal to mass into acceleration because when we apply a force on the block block produces acceleration so from this we will get a acceleration f equal to m now we will substitute one for it now as earlier class as in earlier class in ninth class we have one relation v square minus u square equal to 2 as this is equation of motion now we are going to substitute the value in this v square initial velocity is zero initial velocity is zero that means u equal to zero to and what is the value of acceleration f over m f over m <coughs> f over m so this is v square equal to 2 f s over m so this is the relation and we will substitute it for 2 now we are having the relation up to this now this mass is divided so we will take this mass towards this m v square equal to 2 fs we will substitute it in the 3 so now we have what done so when we applied a force it produces displacement that means what is done by the force what is done by the force that means what done equal to force into displacement what done equal to force into displacement w equal to f s so now we are going to substitute the value of f s in the three so put four in three so what we will get m v square equal to two w so f s value we will put out in the three so m v square over two equal to w what done is conserved what done is conserved to its kinetic energy so that means w equal to kinetic energy so kinetic energy is equal to half m v square because we have substituted w equal to ke so this is the relationship between kinetic energy and mass and v square so now we are going to discuss factors of the kinetic energy factors of the kinetic energy factors on which kinetic energy depends so there are only two factors on which kinetic energy depend we have definition that is relation kinetic energy equal to half mv square so first factor is mass it depends upon mass kinetic energy directly proportional to the mass 
मोर द मास मोर विल बी दिनेटिक एनर्जी इफ मास गेट्स डबल कनेटिक एनर्जी विल ऑल्सो बी डबल नाउ कनेटिक एनर्जी सेकेंड फैक्टर इज काइ सेकेंड फैक्टर इज विलॉसिटी सेकेंड फैक्टर इज विलॉसिटी सो विलॉसिटी इज ऑल्सो directly proportional to kinetic energy so that means kinetic energy is directly proportional to the kinetic energy velocity is here so if velocity gets double then kinetic energy will be four times kinetic energy will be Four times. So SI unit of kinetic energy, SI unit of kinetic energy is joules. SI unit of energy is joules. Thank you.